draw a bond line structure for each. So here we have two molecules and we are shown carbons, hydrogens, and we need to draw a bond line structure. This is my Lochi and I am about to help you do this problem. So what we need to do first, the easiest way would be for us to draw a structure where we show all the bonds so we can see what is connected to what. Let's go ahead and start with A. For A, we have carbon and it has two hydrogens on it. Actually, let me draw it a little differently. It doesn't really matter, but it has two hydrogens attached to it and it has a double bond. Then we have another carbon. What does it have attached to it? A hydrogen. Every carbon wants to have four bonds. So it must have another bond. And what does it attach to? A C. And this carbon has two hydrogens. One, two, and it must have a fourth bond. And it must be attached to another C. This carbon wants to have four bonds also. And we see CH33 in parentheses. That means that this carbon, this carbon is attached to three CH3 groups, three methyl groups, like this. One CH3, and I'm just drawing everything out just to see what it looks like. So it will be easier to draw our bond line structure. This is not a bond line structure yet, but it will really help us. So this is my carbon and it's attached to three methyl groups. One, two, three. This is my molecule A. How do I draw a bond line structure for it? First of all, let's learn what a bond line structure is. A bond line structure is a way to simplify our molecule, the way we write our organic molecules. In a bond line structure, hydrogens on carbons are not shown, but they're implied. And carbons are not shown either. We draw a zigzag uh, line. So for example, let me do it up here and then we'll continue with that example one. If I have CH3, CH2, CH3, the way I draw a bond line structure is like this. Anytime I have end of a line or two lines coming together, that means I have a carbon. It's not shown, but this, this is, if I say carbon one, two, and three, this is carbon one, two, and three. So this is a carbon, this is a carbon, and this is carbon. And hydrogens on my carbons are not shown either, but they're implied because my carbon wants to have four bonds, so this must have three hydrogens, which are not shown, but we know they are there. So what do we do next? How do we turn this into a bond line structure? One of the ways we can do this is by numbering. I'll number my chain of carbons. So I will go one, two, three, four, and five. And I am going to draw a five uh, carbon zigzag. So one, two, three, four, and five. This is my beautiful zigzag. Now I see what's attached to what and what am I missing? Carbon one and two have a double bond between them. So I'm going to show a double bond here. Carbon four has one CH3 group and another CH3. So it has two methyl groups. So we go one, two. Now, whenever we have a heel, let's say this, <laughs> this is a terrible heel that I drew, but whenever there is a heel, our groups have to go up off from the hill. If we have a valley, groups have to go down. So this was a hill, so both mantles I show as going up. And this is my bond line structure for molecule A. Let's go ahead and do molecule B. You know what? I'm going for fun to do a different color. Here we have CH3, CH2, 2, CH. So maybe I can start by drawing, again, when we see things in parentheses at the end, that means they're attached to that carbon. So for example, here we saw three methyl groups were attached to this carbon. This group is called an ethyl group. It's two carbons together. And there are two of these groups which must be attached to this carbon. So I'll start by drawing this carbon. Let's say I draw this carbon. And I know that it's attached to a hydrogen, so I'm going to attach it to a hydrogen. And it's also attached to this carbon. And how do we deal with these groups? So it's attached to two 
ethyl groups, two CH, two CH3 groups. So let's show that. One, two, C, H, two, C, H, three. And same thing here, C, H, two. Sorry, I don't have much space. C, H, three. So this was a little complicated, but this carbon is attached to two ethyl groups. We just need to make sure every carbon has four bonds. So this carbon has four bonds. It is happy. Next, we dealt with this and now we're up to this carbon. This carbon has two hydrogens. So let's show two hydrogens and it is attached to another carbon. Another carbon has two hydrogens. One, two. And what is that attached to? It's attached to an OH. Now, all we need to do is to draw our bond line structure. This is just to help us see what's connected to what, because it's hard to draw a bond line structure without actually understanding how does this molecule look. So what we can do again is we can number our longest chain, one, two, three, four, five. And again, our chain is a five carbon chain, one, two, three, four, and five. Carbon number three has CH2, CH3, it has two carbons, it has an ethyl group attached to it. So from carbon number three, I'm going to go ahead and draw an ethyl group, one, two, two carbons coming off carbon number three. Notice this is a valley, so I'm drawing it down. Carbon number five has an OH on it, so I'm going to draw an OH. And this must be my structure for molecule B. This is my Alochi. Let me know if this is helpful and what other videos you would like me to post.